Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to create a network diagram using PowerPoint. So you'll recognize this network diagram. This is from the course textbook. And what I'm going to show you now is how to create this uh, again using PowerPoint. So uh, first thing, we'll need a new slide. So we'll go into the new slide um, dialog, create a blank slide. Uh, and now what we need to do is to start to create it. So first thing we'll do is to insert a rectangle. So we go into Insert, Shapes, and then uh, pick a rectangle. Uh, put it where you want it to be. So the first one's going to go about here. Now, uh, the default is white on blue. I'm going to select this as our, as our look. Um, and then what we need to do is to put text in it. So I'll just remind myself what the text is. Select Vacation Destination, Two Days. So I'll just click on it and type that. Select vacation destination two days. Okay, and we can resize this if we want this to be a little bigger and so on. We can move it around. Okay, so now what we need to do is to do the same thing and, uh, and create these other four um, uh, activities. So what I'm going to do just to speed things up is I'm just going to go and copy this. Okay, but we would do the same thing. Normally you would create it. Uh, you could also, what you could also do is copy the one you have, have insert it, or press Control V, so Control C and then Control V. And then you just have to change the name. For example, Book Vacation One Day. So I'm going to say book um, vacation one day okay um, and you keep doing that until you've got all five so I'm just gonna go over here just to save a little time control C control V just reposition it and the same thing here control C and control V. Okay, so now we've got our five um, activities, each one being a rectangle, each one having a unique name. Um, and I'll just create, the, make that spelling correction. Just notice that. So let's, uh, activity name should be spelled correctly. So now what we need to do is to insert the arrows. So network diagram. Uh, as you can see in this completed one, has arrows between activities. So the way you do that is again go to Insert, Shapes, and select the, the arrow. Uh, pretty easy to do, you just uh, find that dot on the one side of the rectangle, connect it to the other one, and now that, that uh, arrow is attached. If we move this around, the arrow follows it, which is kind of handy. So just keep doing that, select an arrow, Connect those two, select an arrow, select those two, and uh, a couple more, as so, and the last one will be here. Okay, so there is your network diagram. Now, if you need to show the critical path, if you need to communicate on that, there's various ways to do it, but here is uh, what I suggest is you're going to insert, uh, and in this case, we are going to want to insert some text. So the way we do that is we're going to create a text box, and we'll just create it here. And now we just uh, we'll just uh, start typing the critical path is. Now we need a little more space. This is gonna, gonna need to type for a little while. So I'm just gonna make that text box a little bigger. So the critical path is these three. Okay, select vacation, apply for passport, and depart for vacation, a total of 13 days. So we we commun we type that. So is we'll list um, the activities in order. Uh, 
Uh, and then what we we'll do, what we will do, is um, uh, indicate the total duration, the duration of the critical path, and therefore the project is 13 days. So there, so there we have it. We have the network diagram, and we have an indication of the uh, critical path. Uh, and that is the tutorial.